So there were some really hard-hitting statements. I know that Scottish Water has uh, contested some of the analysis, but let's just look at even the, the perception in terms of what people uh, are saying. Um, we've got surfers against sewage accusing Scottish Water of appalling behaviour. Um, campaigners and politicians, I won't name them all here, but feared lack of spill monitoring could mean that dry spilling is a bigger issue than the data indicates. And yeah, we're having Scottish Water accused of illegally discharging hundreds of times during dry weather, soiling beauty spots, um, much loved beaches and so on, examples of human waste. So We've seen the media coverage, we've heard the reaction from politicians, communities and, and, and key campaigners. Um, what is your assessment of this as the Chief Executive Officer? So, I mean, firstly, I think some of the reports you just described, we, as you say, we dispute the, um, the kind of methodology that sits behind that. Um, and indeed, what we've seen from our initial look at some of the material there is that um, over 80% of the instances being claimed are ones where we've seen storm tanks being discharged from. Now, storm tanks only operate when you have extreme weather. They are for storm, storm events. Mm. So I think, there is, I think there is something not correct in what is being put forward by Just some of those. Just for clarity, we can come back to the yeah. methodology. So that's in dispute, but are you disputing the impact yeah. on communities and the environment? Are um, people so, exaggerating well, about the impact? So I suppose the first thing I should say is that we are, in, we are never sanguine about there being any negative environmental impacts in terms of what, what, what we do as a, as a wastewater provider in this particular part of our business. So whenever there is an issue there, we are seeking to improve the position. So I'm absolutely not saying it's all right for those things to happen when they happen.